Now, here's Wendy. I must say, I am so happy to be here. You know, I mean, here's the, here's the thing, and, and I, I'm so appreciative to be here. The, I mean, 500 shows. I mean, there are shows that do 5,000 shows and, you know, that whole bit. But I've appreciated every single day being here because this show, our show, I gotta tell you, when I tell you I'm just a girl from New Jersey, I mean, I'm just a girl from New Jersey who had a dream. And, and, and there were people, a lot of people who didn't think that we'd make it, but thanks to you, audience at home, audience watching in the salons, audience here right now, thanks to you, we're still here. So I'm very grateful. You know, 500's a lot of shows, so we thought we'd break it down in terms of things that have ha actually happened here. 5,000 shows mean that we've ha means that we've had over 75,000 people in our studio audience. I know. They did the count at Hot Topics. I've said Lindsay Lowen 1,673 <laughs> times. No, they really did. And I said, how you doing? 200, or excuse me, 2,997 times. <laughs> Which to me is very random. Why don't we just make it uh, 3,000 even? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? There. <laughs> now, 3,000 times. I love the show by the number. That was a good one. Um, oh, and by the way, I've cried, according to them, because you guys say I cry a lot. I've only cried 23 times in 500 shows. <laughs> yeah, that, which I, I would have thought it was more also. I know, right? Well, I don't think when you get misty, it doesn't count as crying. I've gotten misty. You know, when you get misty and maybe one tear escapes, <laughs> but you don't bother acknowledging it, so that's not really crying. Um, and I've belched. <laughs> Only once, and that was the other day. Watch. I was up at like seven o'clock in the morning in the city by eight o'clock in the. Because <laughs> that's just the kind of girl I am. Over the past three seasons, we've had some really memorable moments, though, here on The Wendy Show. Uh, we don't have time to talk about them all, but I still do want to share some of those memories with you, so take a look. The Wendy, how you doing, William show is on a six-week tryout. Six weeks. If we're great, we're back. Are you nervous? No, are you? Uh, no. <laughs> Welcome to the new face of daytime, a mess. All I can say is please, please, please pick her up. <laughs> You're a big, beautiful woman. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's forever. It gets better. And I, I, I like how it feels. I like how it feels. I like how it feels. So just turn it up and keep going. I'm alive. Yes, you know. Pieces, nothing. Yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Do I have pieces? Are you out of your mind? Are you having regular sex? Wow. <laughs> I did have sex several months ago. Oh. Oh. Marriage does not agree with you. Well, I'm over three. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about you and George Michael. Look did how happy I am, and that is. Look how gay he looks. I did know. you know he was gay? You know they 
ask you to turn off your crap before you roll out of the gate. I want you to take over control. And here's the picture that we paid 500 bucks for. Hit it. <laughs> Just keep the picture up. Let's get our money's worth. You have a bug in your what, hair. I do? You Just answer? let me help you. No, I got it. <laughs> Clap my wig off. <laughs> You didn't sound good? It was bad. You could sound like what you want, girl. There's a hater in aisle three. <laughs> you dim your eyes, but not so you can't see. Okay. And you <laughs> spread your bottom lips. It should form in a triangle. Look, I'll do it for okay. you, and then you do it for the camera. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? 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 I love it! I'm gonna give you an English version. Okay. How are you doing? You ready, Big Ant? Ready. What the fuck did you say? I love you. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Why don't you just grab my throttle and let's get going? So I have a friend who's 27 and she's dating a six-year-old man and they judge. Asked... Yet. <laughs> They've asked me to join them in the bedroom. Now judge. <laughs> don't let anybody. Is that a hickey on your neck? Oh yes. <laughs> Can I tell you what you have that I want? What? Boobs Big that boobs. match. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to accept the fact that I'm on the Wendy Williams show. Right? I am thankful for you. These are for you. How you doing? That was a surprise to me, too. I've always wanted to meet our first guest, so I'm thrilled that she's here to share our 500th show from her platinum-selling recording career to her music videos, her love-hate relationship with Simon Cowell. She does it all, and we're always watching. Please give it up to forever our girl, Paula Abdul. <laughs> Thank you. You know, we've done 499 shows, and for the 500th show, you're finally here. And I'm happy to I'm be here. I'm very pleased. Paula, let's cut to the chase. <laughs> you know, I've, been, I've waited to cut to the I, chase. I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to just hit you with the decision I got here. Look, we just met. But look, why did you leave American Idol? Was it the money? Of course. <laughs> Finish. Everybody moved over to X Factor. You, Simon, you know, the whole kit and caboodle. And we were so happy that you guys were still together. But then you were gone. Now, were you fired or did you leave on your own? Well, here's, here's the truth. You know, um, you, you get signed on to a show and, and the show is entitled to pick up your option. That's what it's called. Or not. Um, being fired is something that, like what happened to Cheryl Cole. Because she was starting to work, and then she all of a sudden wasn't there. And that right. was really, that was an awful experience. You know, mm -hmm. I felt extremely, I felt for that. Did you and Cheryl Cole get along real Absolutely. well? Absolutely. She is a doll. Because you know some of the tabloids were saying you were arguing over wearing the cutest outfits. You well, because wanted them. that's what girls do. Uh, okay, got you. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I mean? No, yes. I, she's lovely. She's yes. lovely. For me, you know what? They didn't pick up my option. I look at it as, he fired me. Yeah. And none of you, are, you know, all of you are going, hmm, that is like, that's very sweet, but it, it, I'm sure it was a little shocking. It was shocking to all of us. Are you kidding me? We thought you guys were, you know, like this. We, you know, Simon and I, we, we do have a great relationship. But here, you know, he admittedly says, you know, he invited me to come on to the show to help him launch. 
you know, U.S. X Factor. Okay, so then, then we thought that maybe he would send her over to UK, right, to do X Factor over there, but you didn't do that either, so. No, it's, it's true, you know, I came on, I, I was his soldier, I, you know, I love doing my, what I do. I love, I'm a born mentor, and I've helped launch m so many people's careers. Yeah. I worked hard, and you know what? His, he admittedly said his own mouth got him into trouble when he did the promotions for the X Factor. He went on and said, if we don't get 20 million yes. viewers the first show, then I will consider it a failure. And you put that out there and you don't get 20 million right. viewers, it's out there that the show failed. So and do, you like, uh, do you like the X Factor show the way it the, is now? The thing is, I, I must say this, change happens, you yes. know what? And, and there's so much saturation with competition shows like that. Well, well I wanted to ask you about but them. But you know what? He had to do what he has to do. Yeah. Um, and that supersedes friendship sometimes. And it's business. I understand. You know, and so change are, is good. Are you friends with him now? I'm friends with him. Do we hang out? No. Did we ever really hang out? <laughs> According to him, we did a lot of hanging out. But I got to tell you something. It would never, ever happen because he's selfish. And he'd be a selfish lover. And he'd call his own name out during sex if it ever happened. <laughs> ask you about a couple of the other reality shows, including X Factor, Britney Spears now and Demi Lovato uh, joined the, the cast of Judges. What do you think? I think, you know what, I think, and I understand why. I think it's going to be great. I'll tell you why. I think people are, are anticipating seeing Britney Spears. She's had a long career and she's, she's overcome a tremendous amount of adversity and I'm always for the underdog coming back. She's right. a big star. And then there's a new budding star who's, who's Demi Lovato. With, with De Demi with her music yeah. and, and it, her songs are great. She's riding a wave that's really exciting, I think. You know, it's a younger demo. And, gotcha. Um, you know. Let's talk about love. Your love. My love. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was reading in the magazines. He's younger than you and he's in wine in Rhode Island, right? <laughs> he does a lot of things. He's, yeah. He's, he's a, you know what? It, times are really good. He's a wonderful <laughs> man. He's a wonderful man. Do you want to get married one day? Again? I, I, you know, I don't, I don't look at, at I, I want to do this. I just want to be present yeah. and be in a loving relationship yes. and being able to be myself and, yes, Paula and, and ex accept John for, him, for his wonderful self and uh, to have a good time. And whatever happens, happens. Hi. Paula, I want to share something with you. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Paula, I stayed up until about 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Several weeks ago, bidding yes. on your leggings on eBay. No way. Yes. And I told everybody that I wanted you to sign them with a silver that is sharpie. So funny. But first, look how little they are. <laughs> They're from American Apparel, yes. and I spent forty-one dollars. So I have a deal for you. Yes. You can either sign them with my silver sharpie or buy them back for fifty even. <laughs> What you gonna do? <laughs> you, um, I gave him away for a reason. Oh, <laughs> good one. You know by now that my favorite musical decade is definitely the 70s, right? I love the disco music. Nobody fights when the disco drum starts to beat. This is why I'm so excited about our next guest. They're here to perform their Grammy-winning song, Disco Inferno, from the classic film, Saturday Night Fever. Give it up for the Tramps, featuring Earl Young. One hundred stories high, the people getting loose, y'all, getting down on the roof. Let me hear the sparks were flaming, out of control. It was so entertaining. In my boogie, it's got to explode. I heard somebody. Congratulations on your 500 show. We are so proud of your many accomplishments, and we know that this is a wonderful, wonderful dream that has come true. Thank you, Mommy. I want to shout out to Tuck Shop in Bayonne and Hoboken, New Jersey, for, for providing the dapper tuxedos for my crew today. Also, oh, yeah, Bob, thank you, Bob. Also, thanks to our friends at B Cake NY for this fabulous cake. It's just like the show, slightly tilted, really tall, kind of messy, and really good. <laughs> A 
I want to... Oh, it's time to go. I love you for watching today. I'll see you the next time on Wendy. Bye-bye.